To become more competitive, Centennial Coal needed to maximize production efficiency. Transformation was delivered by real-time, actionable dashboards, analyzing data from existing systems, sensors, and apps. This is Pulse Analytics. This is Business Intelligence. Well, I'm Ash Bosworth. I'm the director of Pulse Analytics. When a client comes to us, we uh, go to their site, work with them about what their processes are, what their requirements are, uh, gather the information that they have available and turn that into a prototype product that they can review and then give us some feedback on within typically two to three weeks. There's a lot of gaps between what people want and what they can achieve. Even though the data's there, they can't get the visualisations or the, the value out of their information. The Pulse Analytics team engagement with our clients is very in-depth. We like to understand their process, their business, and get right into where they're at to make sure we're achieving exactly what they're after and typically take their ideas and then turn that into something that exceeds their expectations. Pulse Analytics has been introduced across a variety of initiatives at our mine sites as part of our reporting and our data analysis. We look at it and view it every day, if not every shift, as part of our tactical review management system. And we do that through multiple levels of the mine site, from the face level right through to team management. Centennial approached us with a problem they were experienced with. Uh, they provided us with a um, sample set of data. Historically they've been struggling with trying to turn that into something useful. We see our role as taking that data and turning it into visual representation that the client can easily understand uh, at a KPI level where they're going, how they're trending, but then the ability to drill into that further so they can identify root causes if things aren't going well, or in fact if they are going well, why that's actually happening. We're experts at mining the coal and we're good at our mining processes and we're good at our machine engineering. What we're not ex experts at is how to present the data to the guys so that they can understand how they're going versus the KPI targets that we set. Where Pulse Analytics have been great for us is the expertise in that area of how to present and represent that data to best effect. It was important for us to go from our older systems which were reviewing our processes on a 24-hour basis or even later to a real-time review process whereby at the end of the shift we could actually have the team while it's still fresh in their head analyse how they went for the shift and how we could improve or if we went well to actually recognise and acknowledge the success of that shift. Having a real-time system that is fed by machine uh, data and knowledge provides accurate information that then allows uh, shift managers and frontline leaders, crew leaders to be able to be confident in the information they're receiving and it furthers accountability and transparency in the, the shift review process. So following the end of a shift we can sit down with real data that's uh, the reflection of something that cannot be uh, faked or falsified in any way um, and we can sit down with our people and discuss where our opportunities to improve are and where we could have had a better result. The, the tactical reports that are automatically generated and processed through the system are quite visual which is very very good for us and our frontline leaders. We want to be able to see reasonably quickly without having to do a lot of detailed analysis uh, where our big issues were and that's very very easy to do with, um, with the, the visualisation, the colours and the bar charts. In my 32 years operational experience I've found that miners are very competitive and if we give them the challenges, if we set the targets that are achievable they will go out and do their utmost to get them and I find that through the tactical report that we're able to lay out that platform for them and that we find that it highly motivates our men. It's interesting to see how it has fostered a competition between the shift managers and the shift leaders um, in terms of our performance, being able to see that our data is accurate, it's reliable, and then knowing that that is accurate and reliable means that we take much more of a keen interest in being able to say that we beat the other, the other shifts. So being able to have that information available for us and have it be accurate uh, is really good for us to narrow down onto how we can perform and where we can pick up and improve our performance overall. Our analytics tool is good for all levels of the organisation, from the CEO who is interested in KPI and trend charts and other um, graphical representations of their data. Uh, you've got your operational level that need to drill into the root cause analysis and get right down into transactional information and the tactical management layer in between might want to see both those sides of things. And that's part of the success is that we now have 
everybody within Centennial Coal all looking, talking and measuring the same elements of our process. So we're at a point now where we've made all the breakthroughs uh, to achieve success for Centennial uh, Coal and has enabled us to uh, roll it out to other industries and help them achieve the same results that Centennial have enjoyed. We've done all the hard work. The back end design by our team is the strength of the tool and uh, allows us to develop things very quickly, very easily in an agile manner. No matter what the data is uh, structured like or what the source is, across manufacturing, across transport, any process driven industry would be able to benefit from these tools. And our customers almost always experience an ROI within the first few months.